Well, hello there. You're back again. License plate spotlight. 1914 Saskatchewan. I know this one's a little rough. It's the first one I ever got. That's quite a bit younger. Scored it for three dollars. Pretty cool find. I'd never had a porcelain plate before. This one you can really see how rusted and crusted the metal got where the porcelain broke off. Number 8585. So we're going to throw it up on the wall. It's uh, the last year we did porcelain for Saskatchewan until 1919. So you have to wait for those videos. Here's what a real nice awesome one looks like. Yellow with that navy blue. Almost looked black in the video, but it's navy blue. 6455, 1914, Saskatchewan porcelains. And uh, we're gonna show you the rest of Saskatchewan's porcelains, plus some other Canada, and a bunch of the US. So, uh, so this one up on the wall, and while I'm doing that, we'll show you a whole bunch of cool livery plates, cause uh, we were still rocking the livery plate in Saskatchewan. There we go, we got that up. We got one more in my own collection to show you. Garage plate, A16. It's pretty cool. For some reason someone covered the whole back of it with like lead, so it's even heavier than it was before. Not really sure why, but A14. It's pretty cool. A17, A18, they just keep going up the list. Give these to dealerships. You can get sets of five six something like that of the same number but uh that's it for what i have for saskatchewan 1914 porcelain well, there's also these cool ones motorcycle can't go wrong there and a good chunk of canada was still doing porcelain at the time alberta even though it was mostly these tin plates they also had a little porcelain hidden in there Couple porcelains made for some reason, special order. Not really sure, because they're mostly that tin plate. But a few other places didn't abandon the trade. BC, white and black. It's pretty cool. Manitoba, yellow and black. They're trying to be like us. And uh, probably one of the coolest ones I'd like to add to my collection for porcelain is New Brunswick. Green and white. Look at that guy green and white it's so cool a few other places are doing green as well Connecticut Volus Volusia County I don't know how you pronounce that but Volusia County it's a pretty cool one and uh, I don't know I feel like there's one more oh right from the Keith Murphy collection Maryland how cool is that one so 1914 lots of porcelain it's a long time ago i don't really know nothing about it i wasn't around i'm sure the vehicles putzing around with these on it weren't that good either still amazing that they survived but we're going to show you some other ones delaware black and yellow they're like reverse manitoba i don't know they're pretty cool and we got this whole set from again the keith murphy collection Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, New Jersey, that red one's really cool. And that New Brunswick, not number 34 dealer plate. That awesome green color again, you can't go wrong there. We got a cool Colorado that's blue and white. And we got a cool Vermont, that white and black kind of block letter looking thing. And uh, looks like I got one more to show you too. California. 1914 number 100,000 105,591 there's a lot of plates on the road in 1914 I guess we'll tuck him down there somewhere hopefully he doesn't fall for red and white and again my man Keith Murphy he has a pair of these 1914 California check those out and that one even has that little tab on there we'll show you a closer little picture and uh see what it's like but little uh tab you had to have on your plate to go with your porcelain plates it's cool but nothing beats the saskatchewan 1914 yellow and navy blue 
What do you guys got? Anyone got some cool 1914 Saskatchewans? Or any other cool 1914s? Drop a comment. Send me a picture. Show me what you got. I'm still missing the livery and the MC. Someday. Someday. The livery, anyways. The MC, I don't know if it happens. It happens. But uh, we're going to show you a whole list of all these plates we showed you in the video at the end. So keep watching. Tell me what your favorite state or province was repping the porcelain. And uh, next up, Saskatchewan 1915. I got one to show you. Couple pictures. It's the hardest year to find. Very hard. 1914, those yellows, they pop and they're out there. So collect some license plates. Find some cool stuff. Let me know what your favorite part was, what you like. And uh, it's Wooly the Crazy License Plate Guy. I'm getting ready to get out of here. So have an awesome day, awesome week, awesome year. Find some cool stuff, find some treasure. Share some history like I am because I want to show you guys every license plate I have. So we're going to keep making these videos. So for now, that's 1914 Saskatchewan license plate. We'll see you again soon, coming up, 1915. And keep checking out those license plate of the day, mystery plate package. There's all kinds of cool stuff on the go. Just keep checking back, because we're not stopping anytime soon. So, that's about all I know, other than... You ready? You ready? <laughs>